Exus, and Trap Master Gaming. And we're here with uh, EJ. And what did you do today, EJ? Uh, I got 10th place, two off from top eight at uh, Louisville uh, Regional today. Awesome, awesome. What were you playing today? Uh, I played uh, My Pain, the best deck in the format. Um, it's going to be a lot of controversy, but uh, Fire King Snake Eye. Fire King Snake Eye, okay. okay. Get started into the, the profile. So, pretty self explanatory. I see three ash, two poplar, one of the twin birch. Everyone knows what these cards do. Broken. Um, I did choose to play a field spell, which is Temple. Uh, Temple is like sort of like playing like a mid game, just pure snake eyes in a sense. So, like, you would set up like ash, one of the poplar, such this. Because in every deck that is playing Snake Eyes, you should be playing Three Witch, in my opinion. Because like, even though um, you want to see one, but having that 0.5% extra chance of seeing Starter Extender goes a long way in like most games. So uh, I did play Temple, and of course the one of original. Four Extenders, one for one, three modifier. How do you like the one for one? Uh, one for one is insane. It's a crazy extender, especially if you want to like hold your normal summon. Um, and most times, like when you open up like your starter and like double extender this or this, I usually tend to go this first before this, uh, just because like this is a bigger ash bait and like they just get super cooked by this, and then you have your normal summon on top of it. So it's just like it's really hard to pick your poison. Here. Okay. Again, three witch. We wanted double military, you gotta play you wanna see consistency, you wanna see your cards. Um, the next engine, in my opinion, the best engine, uh, Fire Kings. Pretty standard list uh, setup. I played six instead of seven on um, Sanctuary. Uh, Sanctuary doesn't come up as much as it did before just because like people are off the board breakers in the main. And um, I play the deck where it's like I don't get auto setups. This gets interrupted with because like I have like a fully loaded grave and like most turns, uh, seven out of my nine matchups, I ended my turn with more than five or six cards on hand. So, the way I play the deck. So um, these cards overperformed. Karen, of course, needs to go. This card's crazy. Um, it says no to like anything that targets my fire cards. And of course, like any combination of these cards is just like insane. Um, I seen this card insanely, like pretty much like out of. Uh, nine rounds, I've seen this five rounds out of, uh, out of the tournament today. So, like, popping this and then something that's out and like I'm gonna get for uh, Master Effects is like insane. Just starting off with like your turn before like even going into like, your normal combo plays. Um, so, that was the, the main engine. Um, I played, uh, these are my non engine. Um, and importantly, the reason why I played the uh, played, uh, Fire King Sekai. So, three Valor, three Ash, three Nib. One Mourner, three Emperor, and uh, the last card was uh, two Talents. Uh, I chose to play Talents instead of Crossout just because like everyone's on more than 14 hands left on the main, and then like siding in more just for like my deck specifically. So like counter productive to main or side in Crossout just because like it's good in a sense when you're trying to trade one for one, but the likelihood of your opponent opponent opening up more than one or two hand traps is. 0.60% of the chance in a 40 to 42 card main deck. And like every tier one or tier zero deck this format is playing over 14 on engine. So I chose to play talent just because like if I open up combo starter, hand trap and like talents, I'm guaranteed to like interact with my opponent and such and they're like down on three cards. Talents with their only like live card and then like now they're on top deck mode to play and then like on the crackback I'm killing them because of my fire team card. So I chose to play this instead of cross out. How many cards in me? Uh, 40, 40. 40. Clean 40. That's the way I play it. Um, extra deck. I like this animal. Charmers, insane. MVP relinquished animal today. <laughs> oh, how many people misplayed into that card? Uh, a lot of people. Uh, my voice, uh, my last round against my friend Joel, unfortunate. I had to play the homie from Indy. But uh, he, he played into this card very hard. And then, like, he had to choose to either give me a monster or, like, blow my board early with my Fire King Island. And it just, like, didn't matter. I still had, like, full, like, Fire King Snake Eye combo after. Uh, gotcha. Uh, Link Karibo, this card deserves to be banned. This card's broken. Uh, uh, Nightmare Phoenix. Pizzo uh, combo. Promethean. I play two Promethean. Um, in my opinion, it's very standard to play two Promethean just because, like, cash is so prevalent now. Cash is back to the format and, like, 
them unicorning one foot, uh, one unicorn and like you have one left is like it hurts in the grind game a little bit. But like if you play it correctly and like you interact with uh, Castera cards correctly, one Promethean should be fine if they don't ship to you, of course. Uh, Celine, Apple, and then Z Lance's combo. Um, I see Lance's combo um, six out of my nine rounds today and, um, and killing my opponent either losing dice roll or like going second into boards um a lot of the fire king cards is bait out so much like interaction from your opponent where like then you set up the snake the snake eye card and just like just push through and pop through everything um i've played through nib droll nib ash nib and nib and perm Vela today like nobody's business it was just super unfortunate my uh my rounds uh my round six and my round seven where i played against uh john lee one and then trent those are my only two losses that kept me out of top eight today, so super unfortunate for that end. But overall, like this extra deck was like really insane. Um, I didn't choose to play Amber Whale because like Amber Whale is good only if you have Fire King cards to like play on your opponent's turn, and like it's not guaranteed to always like add them back because you either want to have hand traps or follow up to play going into your opponent's board so Emblem Will is a really good card if you're playing Dual Little Chimera but in my version when I play Heat Soul, you don't need Emblem Will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, three best deals, uh, Mag, two Druids, um, I'm still on uh, Droll, Droll Lock, Lock Word is like love-hate because like it's bad against uh, pure Snake Eye and it's like semi-optimal okay against my deck depending on how you play your hand in your turn. Sometimes like you can get drilled and it just doesn't matter because like you just drew the stones and like you can chain one into this so it's okay. Um, playing it against Voiceless, this card absolutely ass unless they're a bad vo uh, Voiceless player. And um, but everything else like like random rogue decks like uh, Dragon Lake, Manadium, people still believe in that deck. Um, it's just like blows them out. Like any other rogue deck. Uh, two Bell. Uh, two. I think Bell is still. Uh, optimal to play because it's, it it does hurt pure and their extension if they play hard into it it can really hurt them or like if they try to go Promethean summon back and fire like it just like stops them there they have to have like another extended to like, continue to push um great card the one of um, the searchable I think this card's insane um, definitely worth playing because of cash and every like other rogue. But like my round one opponent, um, I had this in my hand with talents, double cosmic, um, and uh, starter, and then I drew into extender. Um, he negated one cosmic, not thinking I had another. So then I second cosmic him, then I curry card him, talented him, and it was just like my hand was just tailored for that specific moment, and he had jogging on board, which he summoned in attack mode. So. Shout out that guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, triple Cosmic. Uh, Subversion. This card is insane. If you don't have this card, you need to pick up, pick this card up and play it because this just says out to like any like problematic card. Like I did it to uh, my round nine opponent. I did it to my round five opponent. I did it to my round four opponent. Um, I did it to uh, Zhang Wan Lee. Um, just putting stuff in the Spawn Shop card zone shouldn't be a thing, but that's what this deck does. And like this plus flame birds, you out two cards and one like you out two birds and one stone, and then like you just set up ultra can just kill them. Like uh, Promethean, Garunix, flame birds, it's over 8k. So like I did that like at least like four times today. And then the last three cards in my opinion that's better than some of them. Three dozen. Nice, I'll take it. Um, I didn't I didn't play some of them because like I'm too prideful as a player. I think this game should be played with a lot of skill and technical play. And like I really pride myself on playing with technical play. And um, sitting up on this on my inboard finish is insane because like people are back on evenly matched and you just don't want to give one up on the card but like now with like normal summons are very important sometimes it's very important and um snake eye players and like voices need their normal summons to actually get the ball rolling and like you say you flip this you say no it's just, like now they're cooked any shout outs you want to give oh uh, yes so all the shout outs uh uh shout out all of my friends from east coast Untapped games, rivals, uh, everyone, you guys know who you guys are. I love all you guys, I miss you guys. Um, all my indie bros, Austin, Matt, uh, Sean, Juan, his brother, Cam, Square, Drew, the homies, uh, Kokomo, shout out those guys to AA. Um, shout out to all my Yu-Gi-Oh homies, man. I love all you guys, man. 
super unfortunate. I played my homie last round. You know what I mean? Um, he's a great player, but uh, me versus him, me every time. You so. cooked him. <laughs> I did cook. Yeah, Real time, Real time. Real time. <laughs> brother. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. All right, this is DJ with his uh, top 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 